Hello everyone, this episode is going to focus on five winter outfits that I found while I was on my shopping spree looking for 50 outfits for that actually work for concealed carry. And a lot of people think, well, winter is easy. It is easy to conceal in the winter because I'm always wearing a jacket or a big sweater, you know, but it actually is a little more tricky than you think because during the winter, you're usually not outside all the time. Eventually you need to come inside and you don't wanna be wearing your coat all the time, right? You, you're gonna be taking off layers. And as you take off layers, you might find that what a gun that you thought was concealed actually wasn't as well concealed as you thought once you start taking the jacket off. Um, and so I'm going to ha now present a few different outfit ideas that can work inside and outside and will still be concealed even when you start taking off a jacket. So enjoy this next episode of 50 Concealable Outfits. <laughs> the cooler weather because then you can wear awesome sweaters like this one and so I love this one because it's long um, it's a sweater so it's a little thicker and um, it has something up top to kind of distract from the middle area which is exactly what you want to do so it's pretty easy if we're looking at sweaters to find something that's going to work really well this one out. it's a little bunched up because of my microphone but you get the idea All right. don't even have to wear a tank top under this one One thing that's in right now that is really great for concealment is these large trench coats or military style coats. And those are really popular right now, which is obviously a very good thing if you're trying to conceal a gun. So uh, it's always good to look for these coats. And what's cool is you can also, you know, because a big problem that we run into with concealment is finding clothes, I mean like the best clothes that will work are ones that tend to look better on men, right? And so it can be good to, if you're gonna go with one of these more military styles, to maybe girly it up with something like a floral shirt underneath, so you can still have a more feminine look and still also be concealed as well. So that's what I've done here. Um, here's a couple things to look out for though. Make sure that with these longer coats that you are, it's because it's long, it's gonna be a little bit harder to access your weapon when you lift up, which means this is going to be the kind of outfit that you would want to train with to make sure that you've got your muscle memory down so that you can do you know, quick draw, even though you've got to lift up a lot more fabric than what you're usually used to. So just make sure that you look out for that. Um, and then of course, anytime that you wear a jacket, you always need to make sure that your lowest layer is um, still, still concealed. So that is what I also have here, even underneath the jacket. This shirt conceals just fine. Sorry, it's a long jacket, there you go. Yeah, so it still conceals just fine and it's still long enough, even if I were to take off the jacket. So just those are the two things to keep in mind, but otherwise this is a really great option for concealment and it is pretty light too, so there wouldn't be as much need to ever take it off. So there you go. Here's a comfortable option for winter clothing and it's this vest jacket thing. <laughs> I'm not even sure what to call it. Um, kind of like a poncho, but it's open in the front. And this is a good option as well, of course, because I mean, it is so big and baggy that you're not going to have any problem with concealment with this. And it's also nice because because it's so loose, it won't get too hot. So this is something that you won't need to take off as likely as you would for something that is warmer. Again, you should always be concealed on your lowest level. And in this case, I am. But, you know, it wouldn't be as big of an issue because you're not going to get as hot wearing something like this. And it's also just really comfortable, um, it's warm, it's cute, and a fun option for colder weather. So a frustrating thing with cold weather is that you'll run into the problem of, you know, you'll be concealed with your coat on, but not once you take it off. So this is a good compromise is to get one of these vests. Um, vests are just a great way generally for conceal, uh, to conceal. Uh, so yeah, this way you won't get too hot if you come inside, but you can still keep on a very padded layer that's going to keep you concealed. Obviously with something like this, you're really not gonna have a problem. There's so much padding, so much texture that this is a very, 
well-concealed outfit. Um, so you just gotta make sure that you keep your vest on because this shirt by itself is tight and kind of thin and it is going to print. So, you know, you just keep this on, but it's not a big deal because you're not gonna get too hot in something like this because it doesn't have sleeves. A little warmer, but if you're wearing it in the colder season, it's not a big deal. Hey, you gotta love the velvet shirt. I love that velvet shirts help us to be able to wear lighter colors um, and still maintain concealment. And another thing that I wanted to add to this too is just this blanket scarf. Another really great way to um, add a little extra something to be more distracting. Uh, and they're really cute, so I threw that in. Um, it's also good like if it's winter and you still want to be able to um, to just have that distracting element but don't want to have to wear a jacket because that can get hot. A scarf's a really good compromise there because you won't get quite as hot wearing a scarf. So that's what I have here. Velvet shirt, scarf. And we are concealed.